Good morning. Right, we're back out on the fields again, but today it is Les and I. Neil couldn't make it, as he's got something to do later on this morning. So um, he's going down the beach for a couple of hours this morning. But Les and I are here. Uh, Les is using his um, Equinox 800. And you guessed it, I am out again with the CTX. But this time I've completely changed programs. I'm using, um, oh, I can't remember what I'm using now. Hang on, let's have a quick look. I am using Relics. Because the screen, as you can probably see, the screen is far more open on this. Um, it was Les's, Les's advice, because he's got an e-track. And I'm sure he said that he's got a Relic um, program on the e-track and it does open the screen right up. Uh, we've been here probably best part of three quarters of an hour so far and we've not had a lot. I've had a couple of little bits and pieces, which you will see in a moment. Um, nothing really to shout home about, no spectacular finds. I am on the field where I had my uh, recent three hammered coins. I had my fourth one on a different field, but I had three of them on this one. But now I have actually moved slightly further down the field because it is a, a long field and I've had all my hammers at one end of it. So now what I've done is when I was going up and down in lines, I've moved to the end of my lines and I'm doing the middle part of the field today. Uh, I don't know what we'll find here, if anything. I've never really had an awful lot of luck on this farm, uh, on this field, sorry, apart from at the very bottom end. So I'm going to plod up and down. I'm just going to stick to it today, just stick with it. Just go up and down in the same lines and uh, see if I can find uh, anything good. I mean, that silver unit I had recently, I did find that at the end of, beyond the end of one of my lines. I did go slightly further and I found it. So I will be passing literally right over the top of where I found that at some point. Les has gone for a wander um, as usual. So I told him be back at a certain time because he's, he's probably going to be a mile away from me. Uh, because this farm and another one of our farms actually border each other so he's going to cross over from this farm onto one of our neighbouring farms because he had a bit of luck, he had a full crotal bell and stuff like that before. But anyway, that's all I've got to say at the moment so uh, let's keep going and see if we can find something decent for a change. I'm determined today is the day that this machine is going to find me something good. Fingers crossed. I have my first find of the day and it is just a button. Yep, nothing uh, too glamorous, nothing to write home about, just a button. Next find is what looks like a small Roman bronze. But I'm not 100% sure, so I'm not going to claim it as a good find. Definitely a little coin of some kind, very thin, usual kind of trashy Roman you get off our fields. But anyway, that's my next find. Possible little half damaged Roman bronze. Morning all. Uh, out in the fields again today. Um, first find is this uh, screamer actually just laying on the surface. Like a clover shape. A little pin out the back, so not sure if that's... Uh, Done a decoration off of something. It looks like it's got a bit of gold coming through under there. A bit of gold wash, whatever it is. Don't know. It's a screaming target, though. Let's see if we can hear that. It's up in the 30s. 2830, that's coming in. Uh, yeah. It's a nice little start. Yeah, happy with that. Oh, surface fine there. There's a bit of clay pipe. That's quite a nice piece. How on earth that's survived all these years. Yeah, a little bit of clay pipe. My next find is a nice little buckle. The intact one as well, apart from the pin quite old, I wouldn't like to hazard a guess on how old it is. It's a bit worn around this part here. It's quite an old design. Yeah, first intact one of these I've found for a while as well. 
like a decent sized one. Found it a tiny little one a few weeks ago. But anyway, next find, nice little buckle. Right, just had this, it was a 28 signal. Oh, you dropped the detector, screaming out. Just cutting through this field, so uh, yeah, I wasn't really gonna. It's only going in one straight line, I've got that though. Don't know what it's off of. Great signal though. Oh, wow, this looks really interesting. Let's see if you can hear that. There's a plane going over, but. It's a lovely 17 signal, just seen that, I've just flicked it out, it wasn't too clear to start with, that looks like a coin, oh it's ever so thin, could be a, a jet or a token, god that's really thin, well I'm not going to rub that too much, but uh, yeah, well, I think we're on a coin of some sort. Excellent, about time. Uh, yeah, I'm still cutting through this field actually. I wanted to get, I've never been up this far, so I'm just gonna cut to the end here and see if I can get back round to uh, Darren, so. Uh, yeah, the field that I want to get on, it's got um, the crops coming up, so I'm not gonna wander on that at all, so. Yeah, I'm gonna stick with this, go around the other end. But yeah, I'm in um, Beach One, the um, beach for land settings, so uh, and the usual settings four and FE two four. Um, I am swapping between the uh, the other one, the um, field one as well, and um, I've got that in my mode there. That's uh, completely open, nothing on it at all. Um, yes, yeah, so that's quite lively. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and the horseshoe one as well, so near the iron. It's been quite quite a long this bit. But yeah, I'll go give that a little wash and have a look, see what that is. Alright, I don't know if you can pick that up, but it's not a coin, it's a button. There's a little dimple in the middle there. Ah, I thought I was onto a, onto a coin then. Oh well. And it looks so good as well. But it's just that little... I thought I did see it earlier, but I thought it was a little... Oh well, it's a button. Damn. Oh my god. I think it's finally done it. I think it's finally done it and it's finally done something better than I thought it would do. I'm not 100% sure on this, but I think we might have another Celtic silver unit here. It could equally be Roman without cleaning it up and having a proper look. I can't be 100% sure, but it's definitely a coin, and it's definitely a very, very old coin. Ah, oh, my heart is pounding. I wasn't expecting to see this. I've got a feeling this is a Celt, but I can't be 100% sure until I've cleaned it up. I do apologise for the aircraft flying overhead, but um, as I said before, all our farms are we're in very close proximity of a, an international airport. So unfortunately you'll have to put up with that. But this is exciting. This is really exciting. The CTX has finally, finally hit the money. I honestly can't say what that is, but I'll give that a thorough cleaning when I get home. And I'll hopefully be able to get a good photo and identify it for you. But my God, it's finally done it. The CTX, I've always said the CTX is a very good machine. I just haven't found anything with it until now. But I'm very, very close to where I was when I found the other Celtic unit. Probably only about 100 feet away or so. So I'm kind of leaning towards that and simply because of its size. The silver Romans I've had in the past have been slightly bigger than this and thicker. So I'm suggesting and hoping that this is another Celtic silver unit. Right, well I thought that was a bit of scrap, but uh, possibly a little, little Roman coin, I think, I don't know. I can see some bits on it, but I have to let the expert have a look. 
I don't know, look, it's got something on there. I'm not sure if that's just been hit though. Oh well, that's not bad. Coming in at 10 that was. And it was just under the surface. I just kicked the top off and there it was. Yeah. Hopefully, that's a little Roman. Fingers crossed. I have a, a relatively good signal here, so I thought, why the hell don't I just live dig it? In fact, was that it? No, it wasn't. Right, okay. Right, let's do a live dig. Didn't sound like it was very deep. But I've not been getting many of these higher pitch signals. They've all been like the low grunts of iron. So I've not really dug a lot of holes today. So this is the first one I've really had to dig since that silver unit. Right, well it does appear, I think, that it's out. Right, it's unhooking myself from all this. That's the, that's the only problem with the CTX. I keep forgetting to charge up the uh, hand, sorry, the wireless bit. I'm sure the signal was coming out over here. Hmm. Maybe I was wrong. All right. Let's have a look and see where that's coming from. No, it seems to still be in the hole after all that. Hopefully this is something good after all this. Right, it seems to be in this bit. Right, it's in that clump. Oh, for God's sake. Oh. Just do it this way. I think my batteries are getting a bit low on my pinpointer. Ah, there we go. What have we got? We've got some kind of coin. It's not hammered. Tell about it by the colour of it. It could be another Roman grot, I suppose. I've had, I've had one of them already today. It could be a jetton. Well, it's clearly got writing around the edge there. I have to put some new batteries in that pinpoint I want to get home and make sure I don't forget for next time. I reckon this is going to be either a little Roman grot or some kind of little token. But I don't think I'm going to be able to identify this here. I have got some spray somewhere. But it's not silver, I don't think. No, it's not silver, you can tell by the colour. But it could also be the top of a button, realistically. I mean, it does seem to be... Have a little clean up with this. No, it's gonna be a, either a jetting or a Roman grot. I'm leaning towards a Roman grot. Yeah, it's definitely right around that edge. But that's suspiciously right in the middle of that. Oh well, I'll find that one out when I get home, but that's my next find anyway. Okay, we've got a 15 signal, again just on the surface, just flick that out, and that looks like a little bit of buckle. 
Yeah, it's buckle. It's a little pattern around the edge on that. Yeah, that's quite nice. It's quite clean as well. Saves me a job. There you go. Bit of buckle. Right, well I'm out with the knocks now. Uh, I kind of got chased off my other field by the farmer is um, spraying on the field that I was on. So I thought, well, I'll go back to the car, change the machine. So the CTX has now found me something good. So um, I thought, well, while I'm back at the car, let's change over to the Equinox. I got my first signal with the Equinox and it is a button. I'm on the field that Les started on this morning, the one literally right next to the one I've been on. Uh, that silver coin, I had a quick look at that, um, sprayed it with some water and that, and uh, it's definitely got a horse on one side, so it's definitely a Celtic. Uh, I'll identify that properly when I get home, get the old uh, manual out and identify that. But anyway, my first uh, find with the Equinox on the field next to the one I wanted to stay on is a button. Yeah, another lovely signal. It wasn't that deep. About an inch or two at the most, and that's uh, another bag seal. I think there's some markings on it, I'm not sure. But yeah, just a lead bag seal. I think it's something written across there. Be interesting to uh, see what that says. Or not. <laughs> there you go, bag seal. Oh, we just had a chat with a farmer. He's a nice guy, actually. Um, it's a different fellow. I think he might be a farm man, this one. He was very interested in my um, Celtic coin. He absolutely loved that. But anyway, second find with an ox. Another button. Well, he seems to have left uh, the field I was on now. But I don't know if he's going back to refill or whatever. If he doesn't come back in half an hour, I should be back over onto my other field, but this time I'll use a Nox. I'm back up on the field I started on this morning where I found the silver unit, um, but this time I'm up here with the Equinox and I'm carrying on from where I left off because it seems to have vanished unless he's uh, gone back to refill and come back. But anyway, I've got my next find and this is another button, but this one's a little bit different. This one has got some kind of decoration on it got a crown on it and uh, I don't know something else kind of should make out what else is on there but I shall clean it up and have a proper look at it when I get home but it's my best button of the day Les is back on the field next to me now and he's still not found a lot I think he's had a little Roman bronze but my next find is a nice silver button well it's first find for about an hour or so uh, we had little bits of lead but nothing uh, well that's only a button but <laughs> It's something. My battery's about to run out on the uh, GoPro, so that'd probably be about it. So I might just save it in case I find something decent. <laughs> well, there you go. That's a button. Well, I said I'd save the uh, battery for uh, something good. <laughs> That's a tiny little hammered. See the pattern on there? Slightly bent there. That is a little hammered. That has just about <laughs> saved my day. Because that's been hours of walking. And I've only had two hours sleep. After going to the football last night, getting home late. And with a hangover this morning. So that has made my day. <laughs> what a result. I've literally just had enough. I was, my legs are just gone, my arms gone. I nearly didn't even dig it because I, <laughs> I couldn't be bothered, but there you go. Little hammered. Oh, I nearly lost it again. There you go. Excellent. Well, that is it. End of another one. And uh, Les finally got his hammered. I've chuffed for him. It's only a very, very small long cross, but um, I think it's an Edward the First. And he found that in an area where I said was quite productive. So he's gone over there and he's found that. And good luck to him. I found my uh, silver unit, so I'm happy with that. It's my second one from the same kind of area. I'm telling you, there's a gold one on there with my name on it. So we've probably got about one more session on there before the crop grows through. 
so at some point next week i'm going to come over with a ctx again because that one was actually 11 inches uh the one i found today is 11 inches down and it was a very scratchy signal so um i shall go over the rest of that field the rest of that section of field next time which will be one day next week hopefully but hopefully les will be with me uh, i know neil wants to go down the beach because he's really a beach detectorist he's not really a field detectorist at all but um yeah that's it for now we will be out again at some point next week uh probably do a beach and a field session so until then bye bye for now